How to develop both hemispheres of the brain. According to the theory of left brain or right brain dominance, a person who is left brained is said to be more logical and analytical, while a person who is right brained is more intuitive, thoughtful, and creative. In reality, the brain is a complex organ, and both hemispheres constantly engage and communicate with one another, regardless of whether the task is more creative or analytical. One. However, actively challenging your mind with new tasks that involve both linear and creative thought processes may help strengthen your intellectual skills and keep your mind sharp. Engaging your brain. Learn a new language. Research suggests that learning a new language is one of the best ways to stimulate your mind. Learning a language, at any age, may help grow the hippocampus, an area involved in understanding new information and spatial reasoning. Pick a language you have always wanted to learn. The benefits of language learning are present regardless of what language you choose. Use online resources to start learning for free. There are a number of free, online language programs that can help you start on any language you choose. Get started with programs such as Duolingo or Buzu. 3. Take classes at a local community center. Many centers and community colleges offer language courses for personal enrichment. Sign up for one if you prefer formal instruction. Find a local group or online forum to practice. There are many people trying to improve their foreign language conversation skills, and you can join them online or in person to get more practice with your new language. Break your routine. The more something becomes routine, the more hardwired and thus less stimulating it is in your brain. Challenge different parts of your routine every day to keep your brain active. Take a new route home. If you commute the same way every day, try a different route to bolster your spatial reasoning and provide your brain with new stimuli. Switch to your non-dominant hand for simple activities such as brushing your teeth or holding your fork. Replace a common word for the day. Challenge yourself to go the whole day without using a word like good or very. Get the language center going by thinking of synonyms. Do a chore in a different way. If you typically use the dishwasher, wash your dishes by hand. If you usually vacuum starting in the living room, get the bedroom first this time. Learn how to meditate. Research at UCLA suggests meditation strengthens the connections between brain cells, which may help meditators process information faster. Make yourself comfortable. This may mean wearing comfortable clothes, finding a comfortable space, or getting rid of unnecessary distractions. Close your eyes and focus. Those new to meditation may not be able to clear their mind completely, but should try focusing on one thing such as breathing patterns or a mantra. Perform a body scan. Close your eyes and check in with each part of your body, starting at the toes and moving upward. Relax each body part individually until you reach the top of your head. Practice a guided meditation. There are many online resources, as well local practitioners that can get you started by guiding you through a meditative experience. Learn a new skill. New mental challenges force your brain to use different channels, which improves memory and critical thinking. Learn about something you don't do or understand very well to challenge your mind. Learn a musical instrument. Challenges with increasingly demanding skills work the brain to keep it strong. Take out an old textbook and try to remaster a skill that you haven't used since you first studied it. Try a geometry problem if you don't have much complicated math in your daily life, or learn the details of a historical event that you don't currently know very well. Take up art. Regardless of skill level, art forces the mind to create relationships between elements of composition, such as color, light, and texture in visual art. Thinking through different compositions helps the brain consider multiple scenarios, which is vital for creative problem solving. Learn to juggle. Juggling, or any activity practiced with intent, such as playing an instrument or learning chess, helps build the areas responsible for communication channels within the brain. If juggling is not a hobby that interests you, try learning an instrument or practicing a sport that has heavy hand-eye coordination, such as tennis or volleyball. Practice regularly. Learning is not enough on its own. Regularly practicing your new skill ensures the brain stays engaged even after you master the basics. <laughs>